Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela. La planning diva. And I just finished setting up my July calendar. It was summer themed, picnic themed, very classic, seasonally themed month. I love it. I used different seasonal books and um, just fun stickers here and there. And I think it turned out super, super cute. Goes really well with the whole July divider themes of vacation vibes. And I actually don't have a lot of plans this month. Um, it is going to be a relatively peaceful month for me. I do know that I might have to go do field work this week, maybe the 10th through the 13th or 14th. This week I might be up in the Sierras doing field work, so I'm trying not to plan too much for this particular um, week. And um, Besides that, I don't really have a lot of plans. I know I have a get together on the 16th and then I'm also planning on taking vacation 19 through the 31st. So this week and a half, I'm going to be on vacation. I'm going to take a nice vacation and I'm thinking of potentially traveling maybe to a national park, maybe taking a road trip. I think that would be a lot of fun. So we'll see what I get into. Still haven't decided things. I might start looking at campsites and things like that and deciding what I'm going to do this week and a half. And finally taking a vacation. Thank the Lord Jesus. Although I probably can't travel too much because I have class on the 19th and then class on the 26th and 27th. So I might be able to take, you know, um, vacation from the 20th through the 25th and then maybe that last weekend in July. Well that's okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so in this video I really need to set up the next two weeks. <laughs> um, oops, okay there we go. So this is the first week in the planner June the 26th to the 2nd and then we're currently on this week it's currently july 4th happy 4th of july everyone it's in the morning and this is real life haven't gotten around to setting up the weekly yet but i'm going to be doing that in this video and i'm going to be setting up both last week and this week and honestly we shall see if this actually becomes a two-part video because Sometimes I want to do too much in a video and then I decide halfway through that I really need to split it up um, and not have like an hour long video. So for, we're going to start off with June 26th to the July 2nd and I'm going to be using Tanya Garcia's Bright Travel sticker book. This, I've been hoarding this, I've been holding on to this, I haven't used this at all because I've been waiting for this day in which I finally open up my Tanya Garcia Bright Travel Planner and use this baby. I wanted to celebrate, you know, getting into this planner with the sticker book. So let's see, I'm gonna try to center this. Okay, there we go, that's centered. Um, so let's get into it. This is going to be completely a spread for journaling because <laughs> this was last week. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate it and then journal and then share with you everything that happened this week. So let's start off with some full boxes. I love these full box stickers. Oh, they are gorgeous. I'm going to use a lot of them. I might use maybe six or seven of these. So be prepared. I really like the full box scenes like this. Um, oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Pack your bags. It's getting me in all of the vacation feels, all the vacation moods. Amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab this one. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. This little cottage. So cute. 
I love how these scenes are like the scenes from the dividers. Okay, let's see if there are any more full boxes. Ooh, okay, here we go. Away we go. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this Japanese temple, this Japanese scene. It is beautiful. Okay, let's see. Are there any more? Oh, this one right here. Gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put one more up here and then I'm going to call it good. Let's see. What is the last final box I shall use? This one. This one says, My happy place. <gasps> beautiful look at that that is gorgeous oh my god a beautiful and i really like these stamps here um i'm thinking of using these stamps right here i love the look of stamps i'm very happy that happy planner came out with that um mail call sticker book i did pick it up i could not resist um it's so gorgeous I did pick that up. <laughs> I'm thinking of maybe putting these little stamps like diagonally across the page. I think that would be fun. Let's see if that would work. Very cute. I think I like the look of stamps because I like stationery in general and I like writing letters and receiving letters and so the stamps really call to me. I've been writing letters ever since I was a young child. I've always loved it. Um, I used to write letters to my sister when she went off to college. Um, we would write to each other back and forth. Um, a lot actually we wrote a lot of letters to each other i don't think my sister has them anymore she might have thrown them away at some point because i also threw my letters away from her and now i kind of regret that i wish i kept those letters but that's fine but i would always decorate my letters with tons of stickers and then i would always also um decorate the envelopes and i would choose like the cutest stickers possible I mean stamps. I would choose the cutest stamps possible. I was always like a stamp person. Okay, one last stamp here. Let's see where should I put this one? This one's super cute. This little like milkweed beetle, I think it is, from Malawi. Wow. Maybe right here. I don't want to cover up that full box too much. So let's see. Maybe like right here. Like so. And there, we finished an entire page of stickers. I love when that happens. Okay, so now we have our stickers or our stamps kind of going up and down the page. I love that look. Let me cut off the little edge here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now that we have that um, down, I'm going to add some full boxes here for journaling. Um, I'm going to add one every day. Let's see. So I'll add one maybe right here as well. And then another one up here. Pack your bags. Does anyone have any amazing vacation plans for the summer? I would love to know. Let me know. Let's add another box right here. Okay. And I really like these girls, so I'm going to add one right here and then i think i want to add one up here like so ah ah 
can you make this? Yes, perfect. And then maybe a little quote. Uh, let's see. Maybe right here. It's, you are going places. <sighs> Love it. I am covering up the holes a little bit, but at the end of the spread, I'm just going to go back in and I will make sure to punch those out so it's not a big deal. Oh, look at this. I love these full boxes or these double boxes with the, um, with the letter looking things. Oh, that one was super crooked. <laughs> oh, well. Ooh, look at this one. I love these. These are just some of their regular um, arched boxes, but they have like a little stamp in the corner, which I love. Very cute. And some washi strips. Let's see, let's add these down here. Very cute. Um, this, one, this little piece right there. Waste not, want not, right? Okay, this is really gonna bother me, this crooked ass sticker. Um, I try not to be super finicky about my sticker placements and making sure they're straight and all, but sometimes if it's not a big deal to, you know, throw down some undo and peel it up, then that's what I do and I go ahead and do it. Um, I also try not to be lazy. And honestly, you know, using undo and then unpeeling the sticker isn't too bad. It's not terrible. I can definitely do it. So, okay, see, that's much better. And I also wanted to pull it up a little bit because I kind of wanted to add some washi tape down here so it works out. Like so, I wanted to do that. I'll add a little more washi tape here. And I kind of want to add a little bit more on the bottom there. Like so. I really love her designs. They're really bright. They're really fun. This is probably one of my all-time favorite sticker book releases, collabs that um, Happy Planner has ever done. I'm going to add another box up here. Gorgeous. Another one of these today boxes, like so. Ooh, how fun, these clear stickers. These are amazing. I don't know if you can see these. I don't know how visible a sticker book is off camera. Okay, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. I really like being able to see the pages when I flip through sticker books. I try not to have the sticker book like cover the, um, the pages that I'm working on. I always put it to the side like this, but then when I do that, um, you know, obviously you can't see what I'm looking at. So it's a fine balance. I really, really like these quotes here. I'm gonna put Chase at Sunset right there. And then I want Bring On the Summer Fun over here. Amazing. Gorgeous. I wonder if I can put one of these larger um, double boxes right here, or if that's going to be too much. Oh, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let's 
Uh oh. Okay, no, that's fine. I thought it was going to be too crooked, but it's fine. This one is a little bit crooked, but not to the extent where I'm going to want to pull it up. So that's fine. Okay, now we're really starting to fill this up. And I'm thinking that I can use some of these clear stickers here to really decorate the top where the weekdays are and the names of the week, uh, names of the days. I really, really like decorating, decorating this section up there because it feels kind of plain and it always feels a little left out for me. And I also have trouble decorating it. So I love when sticker books come with these like smaller clear icon stickers because I love using these for decorating this top right here. And these are fun shapes. Um, these are really similar to the shapes on the cover of the classic sized um, Tanya Garcia planner. Um, so these are fun. Although honestly, I prefer these as like an accent piece and not as like a focal cover piece. I'm surprised she picked that pattern out of all the patterns possible for um, the cover. So let's add a little bit more here. And I like how they're clear so um, they're not getting in the way of the numbers and the names. I mean, I don't really need them to know what day it is, honestly, but it's nice to have them there not completely covered up. There. Okay. there we go. I'm going to do some overlapping there. This super cute butterfly. I think I could put this one right there. There, very cute. And then maybe another one. I like the idea of putting it here, but it's gonna get cut off a little bit. That's fine. Don't be afraid to cut your stickers. I know I was very afraid of cutting them when I first started and I'm still, you know, a little resistant to it, but I think I'm better. Add some more stickers here at the top. Okay, it's starting to look really, really nice now. Okay, I'm thinking one more full box, like right here, and then a girl right here in this corner. I have an idea for this lovely babe on her roller skates. <gasps> I can't wait to get my roller skates out. I have a beautiful pair of like bright sparkly blue roller skates just like this girl here actually and you know I don't really feel the need to go roller skating except in the summer so I am excited to get my roller skates out. Ooh, and these bees. Look at these bees. These are the same bees that are on the cover of the planner. Very cute. So I kind of want to add these around. Let's see. Maybe one up here. Cute. And these clear flowers, I think these would be perfect to put on the edges, like so. Or the spines, I guess you would call it. I've been really into decorating the spines. It's a little bit of extra work because you have to cut the stickers and then you have to hole punch. But I feel like the end result is really worth it. So... I'm happy to do this extra amount of work. So basically you just cut through the middle and then you have your stickers on the spine. Love it. Okay. 
I'm very, very happy with the spread so far. I'm very excited about it. Okay, I think it'd be fun to do some circle stickers. So a circle sticker right here. And then maybe a circle sticker. I kind of want to balance it out on this side, but I don't see any room that I have left. I could put it here, but honestly, I don't feel like um, that would look super good. I try to make things a little bit balanced. So if I have one up here, I kind of want one down here on this page, you know, yin and yang. But um, <sighs> so I'll probably not put one there. I also don't want to put another quote because I already have two quotes here. Oh, whatever. I'll put a quote. I can't think of anything else to put here. So I'm going to put find your bliss right there. Very cute. And then same with over here. Um, I wasn't, I wanted to put something else, but I think a quote is the way to go. So I'm going to put this let's sail away quote. Very, very cute. I kind of want to fill up this blank space right here and this space right here as well. So let's see what else I have in here. Okay, I'll put this little cheetah guy like so. Very cute. And then one of these little sparkles right next to them. And then, you know what? I'm going to put this palm tree down in between those two boxes. I think that would be fun. Like so. Very cute. And then I think the last thing I'm going to do for stickers is I'm going to add some of these foiled sparkle stickers at the top here to kind of complement those funky abstract shapes. So I'm going to add those right now. This is truly an explosion. I love it so much. Okay, and then one last sticker is um, this box here I'm going to use for the sidebar. I've been loving using my sidebar as kind of like a currently page. So I'm using, so I'm thinking of using that little box as a header for that section. I'm also tempted to use these flags as like section headers for the currently section. Should I go ahead and do that? Why not, right? Okay, there we go. I think that's it. No more stickers allowed because this is already way too much, but I love it. I think it's super, super fun. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and journal about everything that happened this week. I think I'm gonna start off backwards. So I'll start off with this past weekend because it's the most fresh in my memory. I tend to be able to remember things better if I think through them backwards. So let's start with Sunday. There we go. We finished. I was going to stop and talk a little bit about what happened every single day day as soon as I finished writing it. But once I started writing it, I just kind of wanted to finish all of it and just get in the zone and just write it all out. And so I just went ahead and wrote everything. And then I decided to just come back whenever I was finished and walk you all through it. So I love how it turned out. I had a lot of fun with like experimenting with different fonts. I'm trying to be better about using different fonts and also different colors of ink um, for my writing in my planner. So I've been trying to branch out a little bit, but um, let's go Monday through Sunday and then I'll end with the sidebar, which is my currently sidebar. Um, so Monday, it was a busy, busy Monday. <laughs> this is the Monday that we drove back all the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico with some lab members. Um, it was 11 hours. It was an 11 hour drive. Um, it was from 7 in the morning to 6 p.m. Um, at night and it was definitely quite a drive. We did it all in one go. We didn't stop to eat or anything. We just stopped to get gas and then we grabbed some snacks at the gas station and that was what we ate on our road trip. Honestly, I preferred it that way. I preferred to just snack on something while I was driving, while we were driving and not spend even more time um, going out to eat. So that was quite a drive. Tuesday was 
a bit of a slower day. I slept in because, you know, I was exhausted from the week that we spent in New Mexico at the Evolution Conference. And um, I did go into work. I drove into work for a recap lab meeting. We had lab meetings scheduled the day after just to go over what we, you know, took away from the conference and what our plans were for the summer in terms of field work and projects. And so I drove up to Riverside on Tuesday for the lab meeting. But honestly, that was about it I did for work. I might have worked an hour or two before or after. I forget exactly, but I definitely didn't work that much on Tuesday. Tuesday was fun though, because I actually stopped by my Joann's. I was going to say my local Joann's, but it's not really local because it is about half an hour from where I live, but it is on the way to work. And so I kind of consider it my local Joann's. Stopped by the Joann's and I picked up some planners. This is when I got the squad girls, the big squad girls planner and the teaching planner. I also picked up three sticker books. Eek! My no buy is rolling over in its grave right now. Oh my goodness. But I ended up getting um, Feels Like Sunshine. This one was on clearance and I love the sticker book so much. And I have so many plans for this sticker book for my wellness planner. So I got that one. I also got Mail Call, I believe it's called. And then also the new um, seasonal teacher sticker book. Super, super cute. So I had a little happy planner haul at my Joann's um, to celebrate, you know, July start planners and also the fact that I am starting a new teaching position. And then interestingly, just a side note here, um, one of the guys that I drove back with in the car um, all the way from New Mexico ended up getting covid He must have got it at the conference and then we drove, we all drove back together. And he tested positive the day after. So Tuesday morning, he emailed us saying that he had tested positive for COVID. And I had just spent 11 hours with this man in a car. And so I was pretty certain that I was also going to get COVID, but I never did. I tested every day um, since then, and I never got COVID, but everyone else in the car got COVID except me. I was the only person who didn't get COVID. And so I'm so grateful, dodged that bullet, but that was insane to me. And then Wednesday was the first day at my new job, first day at Project Paint as a prison arts instructor. Um, I don't teach until, you know, 6 p.m. So I get there around 5.40. And because I'm going an hour away from where I live and also I'm going kind of with all of the traffic, um, I ended I. Whenever I teach in jail or in prison, I tend to um, kind of get there a bit earlier or get into the neighborhood a little bit earlier. Um, well, the closest neighborhood. Usually prisons are not a neighborhood. So I try to get as close as I can to the prison, maybe 20 minutes away, and then um, post up at a Starbucks and do work there for two hours or so. Um, until it's time to head up to the prison, because if I want to go kind of later in the afternoon, uh, I'm going to hit all that rush hour traffic. And so I, that's what I did. I went to a Starbucks nearby and I just hung out there, did work until it was time to go teach. Got out at 9.30 p.m. So that's going to be my new Wednesday schedule. And then Wednesday actually wasn't a huge work day for me. Um, I actually had to run a couple of errands uh, that I needed to do, drop off some dry cleaning, go to the post office, go to the store. I had to go to the thrift store. I had to go get some like black clothes. I don't have any black clothes in my wardrobe. And um, we kind of have like a uniform in prison um, and that's wearing all black. So I went to go get some black clothes at my local thrift store and as always the line at that thrift store is huge it's a very popular thrift store so it's always super super busy thursday super quiet day working from home i finally got time to just sit down and focus on some work that i had piling up and i actually had a health appointment scheduled for this day but they called me in the morning and basically rescheduled it they canceled on me and also i had another appointment with my um, home inspector 
just the property manager was going to come in and just do a routine maintenance um, inspection and we had scheduled it but then they never showed up and they ended up canceling it as well so it was a bit of a canceling plans sort of day. Friday was super fun. I actually forgot. I went hiking with my friend Jude in San Diego Friday morning. I forgot to put a sticker for that and I ran out of room. But then Friday was a really nice day. I basically took a half day or a day off because um, after the hike, I came home, I worked a little bit, and then I hung out with Steven. We went down to City Farmers Nursery in San Diego, picked up a bunch of seeds, had lunch down there, came back up to home, and then just hung out and relaxed. And Saturday morning, we went down to La Jolla Cove, down to the beach, and we rented a kayak and went on a kayaking tour on the ocean, explored some of the caves, the sea caves. That was really fun. I'm very happy we did that. We saw tons of Garibaldi, which is California's state fish and a bunch of leopard sharks. And that was really early in the morning. And so we had to go to sleep kind of early on Friday, woke up early on Saturday. Um, we actually had in and out after our kayaking adventure. And then we just hung out for the rest of Saturday. And Sunday was also a quiet day. I did a lot of gardening, um, did some chores. I also did some work, honestly, because there were just a couple of some there were just a couple of things I wanted to get done. And then in the evening, we hung out with our friend Ethan and his friends Jessica and Beto down in North Park, which is a San Diego neighborhood. We had pizza, ordered, um, we ordered pizza and made cocktails, and it was a nice time. And then in terms of the currently sidebar, uh, for the header, instead of putting currently, I just put this week I was into, and then the categories I chose were reading, watching, eating, loving, working on, and listening. And then I just wrote a little note here to myself. So reading, I'm still reading The Body Keeps the Score, which is a nonfiction book about the science of trauma. I'm about halfway done. So I'm excited because um, it's been a really good book, but it's really long. And I'm, I am just excited about all the other books I have on my to be read list. I really started getting into Los Detectivos Salvajes, which is a book I'm reading in Spanish. This is... Um, this is a fiction book by an Argentinian writer who was living in Mexico City. It's set in Mexico City. And honestly, so far, it seems like it is kind of a commentary on writing and writers, and writing as a craft and as an art and how writing intertwines with life. Um, watching, I'm still watching RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 8. I haven't really been watching too much else besides um, this and YouTube. I am starting to get back into watching One Piece, which is the anime that I love, um, but I haven't really gotten consistent with that, so I didn't want to write it down. And then for eating, I am eating tons of zucchini from the garden. Well, actually, zumpkin because my zucchini are crossing with my pumpkin and I'm getting the zumpkin. But I'm eating a lot of zucchini from the garden. I'm loving the long summer days. I love how much sunlight we have. I love the heat. Right now, the heat is bearable or, you know, at 85 or so. And that's fine. But anything above that, it's going to get a little bit sweaty out here. And then working on, I'm working on building a routine. I feel like I haven't been super good with keeping up with my routines lately. The conference really just took it out of me and I've been scrambling to get back into the routine and, you know, getting back to all the work I left on my desk. And so I really haven't been able to settle into a routine and it's something I really want to focus on um, now. And then listening, listening to St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Ugh, so good. I heard them live in concert at the Playboy Jazz Festival two weekends ago. And I have been listening to them on repeat. And then here down, and then down here, I just wrote a little note to myself. I want to be better about um, using this little section down here, this lined section. And I think it would be great to use a section to write just like a little note to myself or an affirmation or a manifestation statement. Um, and right now I just am not taking it too seriously. So I just wrote the first thing that came to mind, which is what a great first week in my new planner. So excited for this summer.
And that is my spread. How fun. I'm going to put this on the discs now and see how it looks on the discs. How fun. Ugh, I feel like I need to punch out this hole a little bit better. Okay, there we go. I love it. It looks amazing. I'm very happy with this. Very fun, very full, exactly how I like my spreads. And it is a perfect start to my Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Planner. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what sticker book you used for your July start planners, like the first sticker book in your planner. I would love to know. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, have a wonderful rest of your week, and as always, happy planning. Adios.